Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Kiana here, back it again with another video. And today is the day we're gonna talk about a life update and why I stopped stripping. So if you guys wanna know all that, stay tuned and keep watching. Also, I would appreciate if you guys do like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below of other stuff you guys wanna see. And please, please, please subscribe hit that subscribe button become a part of the family we're gonna find a name for y'all soon soon enough but i hope you guys like this video keep watching so guys basically the question that a lot of you guys have been asking on my instagram on my snapchat is did i stop stripping and why i stopped stripping the biggest reason that i stopped stripping was because it was just getting to be too much i just needed a break the club was really slow it was around christmas time the holiday new years and a lot of people don't be in the club so i took a break i've been taking a break for about a couple weeks now it's probably gonna go on for a little bit longer there are, are some weekends that i go to portland or i'll go to another state to dance for that weekend but i'm no longer on a schedule at any club i'm no longer going like to a specific club anymore i just kind of realized i need some time to work on me and i mean that in the best way because i gotta work on my personality i gotta work on how I act towards people, I gotta work on a lot. Cause I noticed in the club, I just was so able to just mouth off at people, fight people, get in back and forth arguments with people over dumb stuff. Because in the club, like you can do that stuff. You can really just get them up. Like it was really that easy. And like, since it was that easy, I would do it a lot and get in a lot of fights, get in just stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. I've always like had a mouthpiece. I've always been the type of person that will like pop off, not afraid to say nothing type of person. But I do realize like I gotta work on that. In 2020, like I gotta, you know, protect my peace, not my name no more. Like people are gonna talk on you. People are gonna, you know, speak shit about you. Like I don't care no more. If someone tells me, this year, oh, I heard so-and-so saying this. I'm gonna be like, don't tell me, don't tell me. Cause if they want to, they'll say it to me. If not, they gonna keep that in their air. Like I got my air over here, it's clean. I'm bringing that good, good, you know? But for real, like I can't have no one destroy my peace in 2020. Like I gotta keep, keep it to myself. Another thing is I am in the process of moving. My family's moving and I'm gonna be moving to getting my own place. I have a regular job now, which is very nice because um, your girl just needed it. Your girl needed a new star, okay? I'm gonna keep dancing, just not how I was. I'll probably start going to different clubs like on different weekends when probably after January, when we get into February. We'll see, I'm not quite sure though. Like I'm not quite sure when I will start dancing again, but I am definitely gonna focus on my YouTube more this year, give you guys some content. Hopefully you guys will like it still. It's still basically gonna be about stripping. It's still gonna, I'm still gonna have videos on questions and answers, what I learned as a stripper, the like do's and don'ts. Like I'm still gonna do a lot of those videos. And if I do go to a club any weekend, in the future or beyond that i will be taking um videos so don't think just because like i'm taking a break that means i'm not gonna you know i still got you guys okay <laughs> guys like if you are contemplating being a stripper make sure that you really focus on like yourself don't let that club change you and i was i'm a strong person and a lot of my friends a lot of people know me know that i'm really a strong person but i did change a little bit and any stripper anybody will tell you like when you go into it a lot of the times you will change as a person and sometimes it'll be good sometimes it'll be bad i just turned into such a like kind of angry person i've always had anger issues but it just got way worse as i became a dancer and as months continued so that's basically one thing i will say to anyone who's thinking about being a stripper is to make sure like you know who you are going in there and don't make friends in there don't don't do it like that's another big thing i did was i made some friends and it just kind of was bad each girl had a issue that like came out later and shit just i don't have one friend that i made as a stripper that we're still friends sometimes it's the environment that you meet in sometimes it's like stuff that you would never even think it all really depends but that's the biggest thing I'll tell you is go in there knowing who you are and don't let nothing change you. You're going to change. Try your best to make it 
for the best. I also stopped shipping just because I started getting kind of insecure of um, who I was and how I was. I always got complimented on my body, on my hair, on my eyes, on my face. Like I always get, was getting compliments. I always was getting dances, always getting money. But after a while, I just started hating the fact that like, oh, I'm so small or oh, I'm so this. Oh, I'm so tiny, I'm skinny. Like I'm not getting no weight. And it was, it took a lot for me to pull myself through that part of the insecurities that I didn't really think like they hit me out of nowhere like I was so like I'm a bad bitch and then out of nowhere the kind of feelings hit me of like oh like I'm really small and I'm this and I look like I'm young and my feet look weird and my heels and it was just a lot of stuff and right when that started happening that's when I realized like I need to take a break because this is no longer healthy for me it's becoming unhealthy and after taking a break I did realize like that was probably just because I was overwhelmed in that. I also realized I started going to the club more of like, this is a job like, oh my God, like I have to put a smile on my face, have to like, I shouldn't have to fake an attitude that much. There are days where you will have to fake it, but I was like faking it every day. And every day I was going in there, I was just drinking. Like I was in the back drinking more than I was getting money. It was all pieces basically to the puzzle telling me, you know, it's time for a break. So I did take that break. I'm still on that break. I am getting a little bit better and comfortable in who I am again. It does take a while. And I feel like the a lot of people won't tell you that about working at a club. A lot of people will tell you it gives you confidence. It builds your confidence up way more. And there are ways that it does. And there are situations that you do feel more confident. And overall, I do feel like a more confident person. But there are days that will break you down. There are girls who will make you feel like so insecure and so self-conscious. You could be the strongest person like knowing you're that bitch. And there's still going to be bitches who can get under your skin. It kind of also was the fact that I would make money every day. Like every night I was making money. And when the holiday season came, it was slower. So I wasn't making as much money. And so then the insults that other girls would say or other people would say would get to me more because I don't have this stack of cash to be like, oh, like I have this, what they're saying doesn't matter because this shows. No, I'd walk out with maybe like 200, $300 and just be like, those things that people are saying would get to me. And I'm like, maybe I should like go get a butt lift or maybe I should go get my boobs done or maybe I should get my lips like filled. And I've always told myself I'm not gonna be that type of person. I've just never wanted to be the person that got work done, like at least at this age. And I guess basically I just realized, you know, a lot of that stuff was because I needed the break. And after I took it, I started feeling better. And I started realizing like, it's not all about the club. It's not all about outer beauty. In the club, you feel like that. You get drawn into the fact that it's about outer beauty when it's not. Those are basically the main reasons why I stopped stripping. I will be making videos still. I'll still be answering questions. If you guys do have questions, comment them down below so I can know like which type of questions to answer. I feel like that's all for now. Um, This video was just basically me coming back, you know, letting you guys know what's up. I'm gonna have a lot better content coming because I'm gonna have a lot more time to make that content when I'm not working. You know, a girl don't have no friends, so. <laughs> I'm gonna have some good content for you guys. You guys, please subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. If you guys agree, if you guys don't, if I just sound like a crazy ass bitch, you know, just let me know, okay? And I think that's all. So thank you guys for watching. I'm just kidding. Thank you guys for watching. That's it. Bye.